You are now tuned in to BFTV. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you over the head with the SWAT team. If you guys don't know who the hell the SWAT team is, it's the Buffalo Bills cornerback room. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's the quarterback I read in. Ball swatting, ball intercepting, hit stick making. It's the guys on the field with the most swag, with the most confidence. It's the guys that set the tone. Welcome to the cornerback room. And I'm gonna start it off with the newest addition. Let me get my ball back. Hey yo, we're gonna start off with my man Vonte Mother Effin Davis. If you guys have been living under a rock, that is the latest signee to the Buffalo Bills. Now here's the encouraging part. He could have went to all the other teams that were looking at him and trying to bring him in, but he said, "Wait a second, wait a doggone minute. Let me bring myself back to Buffalo because that was the team that that did something for me." You know what I'm saying? And one thing that stood out is the fact that we won. They're a young team on the rise was something that he said. So it brought him back. So now we got Vonte Davis on the squad. Now I did a little bit of video on him already. So there's a bit that I've already shared, but let me share just a little bit more. Vonte Davis, great solid build. The boy, you know what I'm saying? Has some size to him. I mean, look at his damn brother, Vernon Davis. This is genetic. Big boy, a willing tackler. He is not going to shy away. And this is what we need on this damn defense. A guy that's going to get down in the dirt. Lockdown corner. Can play man and can play zone. A dual cornerback. Now that is important. What people don't realize is this guy just a three years ago was a top five corner. We can even say he was top three. At that point, there was Richard Sherman, Dale Rivas, Vontae Davis. Those are the top three guys back in 2014. So, and that's not too long ago. So he has every ability to get back to that form. Now here's the thing though. My man's creeping up to 30. He's creeping up to 30 right now. So you already know what they say about the guys that are getting up to 30. I say, if you produce, it don't matter how old you are. Here's another thing, injury prone. Could he be injury prone? Is he injury prone? We just, potentially let go of EJ Gaines because of this very reason. Are we taking a chance? Yes, we are. But I think the upside defeats the question mark that everybody might have is that can he stay healthy? Vontae Davis, problem or process? Trey White, Trey play because he makes plays. Here's the deal, great experience. He earned himself some experience this year. He had some lumps. He took some bruises, but he always fought back and made plays. That's the type of guy you want on this team. He's young, he's smart, and he wants the ball in Buffalo. And that's exactly what we want out of our corner first round pick. And here's the thing, the man went against AJ Green, Julio Jones, Mike Evans, Denarius Thomas, Mike Thomas, T.Y. Hilton, that is a great lineup of receivers to go up against, and my man held his own. Look it up. Go and look it up and see how many receptions my mans, they got against Trey White. Go and take a look and you'll see for yourself. I think the only one that torched him, and it was on two lucky receptions, was AJ Green that went for over 100 yards. If you go back and watch that game, two lucky receptions, Trey was right there with him. Now here's the deal. The only negative I can say is that we're going into sophomore year. We all hear about it. The sophomore slump. Does Trey go through the sophomore slump? Or does he show you exactly why he was almost rookie of the year? We're going to find out. Problem or process? Y'all already know. He's the process. He's part of the process. Breon Borders. You guys may not know, but Breon Borders. Breon Borders is your long lanky type corner that's the guy you want when it's the jump balls the guys that are 6'3 6 6'4 6 6 you want a corner that can get up and tip ball tip tip drill that's what you want and that's what Breon Borders gives you instincts 
He's around the ball. He's ready to go for the interception. He's aggressive. With his aggressiveness, he's always fighting for the ball. Even if you make that catch, he's always swiping. So he makes sure he finishes plays. The play is never over until the whistle blows. So if you, your guy has that ball and Breon has got his hand in there and swipes at the last second, that's what you want. Now here's the deal. Sometimes you get over aggressive and give up big plays. And that is what Breon tends to give up, our big plays. EJ Gaines. <laughs> what you want me to say? EJ Gaines is as good as gone. I can't see the Bills bringing EJ Gaines back. Not because he's trash, but because we just brought in Vontae Davis. There's a 1% chance that EJ Gaines comes back, but it's not happening. EJ Gaines is probably gone. Now, before I say that EJ Gaines is gone, that 1% chance he comes back, you got to know what he brought to the table. He's a short tackler, very good zone defender. Struggled a little bit in man-to-man, -man, but held his own. Let's break it down. There's only two things to look at. Money to be paid versus time on the field equals you're gone. <laughs> that's, the way, that's the only way to look at it. You don't spend enough time on the field to earn the money that you might be asking for. So you might have to take your business elsewhere. Do you feel he's part of the process or is he as good as gone somewhere else? Just don't go to New England. Leonard Johnson. I have to I have to admit something. I I, I got to admit something. Leonard Johnson is my favorite player in the defensive backfield. I love Leonard Johnson. I don't care what anybody tells me. 510 a buck 95 can hit like a ton of bricks plays bigger than he is he will hit you in the mouth and you have nothing you can say about it Quick pass to Humphreys. He's nailed at the 39 by Leonard Johnson. can cover the running backs coming out of the backfield can cover your tight ends can cover your receivers he's played both inside and outside and here's the great thing, he's familiar with Leslie Frazier and McDermott. Leslie Frazier, don't forget, when he was with Tampa Bay, he had two of his better seasons with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Then he went to the Panthers with McDermott and now reunited with both. I can't see them not bringing Leonard Johnson back. The boy is legit. I like me Leonard Johnson, I might get me a goddamn jersey. That's how much I love this dude, man. If y'all know Leonard Johnson personally, y'all send him this damn video and let him know this love from the Buffalo Fanatics. Now, with all the love, <laughs> I gotta keep it real. Leonard Johnson does struggle against the quicker slot backs, right? He's a sure tackler, a little, little slower, ran a 4.6 at his 40. So you know he doesn't have that long speed. He's got quick feet. However, quicker slot receivers will give him some trouble. Uh, so that is the negative that I can say uh, with my man Leonard Johnson. Is he part of the process or does he gotta go and be part of the problem? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Lafayette Pitts, the former Miami Dolphin special teamer. Here's the deal, man. Good corner, ball skills, but more of a depth player. Is it someone that we can see bringing back? Is he good enough to be on the special team squad? In my personal opinion, I don't think so. Do you see him part of the problem? Can we, can we make him part of the process? Can we make him a special teams ace? Do we have enough of those? Y'all let me know. Problem or process? Sharice Wright. This is the tough one for me, Sharice Wright. Ball hawk ability, very aggressive, very instinctual. He can read plays, he can read zones. He had a couple of turnovers for us this year, but my problem is he doesn't have that long speed. He is susceptible to big plays. He gets beat, that's the problem. And he doesn't have the speed to recover from getting beat deep. Now his aggressive play will gain us some advantages, but with your aggressive play on double moves, you know what I'm saying, you ever hear this? If we're even, I'm leaving. And that's exactly what ends up happening. He gets left behind and a big play happens. So if he shores that part up of his game, we could see him part of the team. Now, are you willing to bring him back to Buffalo? Or are you taking your chances in the draft? Process or problem? Y'all let me know. So there it is. That's the cornerback room. Not a very big one, but it's a very important one. The SWAT team does not play around, man. When we recruit you, we recruit you to handle business. We recruit you to slap brothers around. We recruit you to jam a brother on the line. He's gotta go around you. That's the respect that we need. That's the respect that we're gonna have to earn again with the SWAT team. 
You know Tredavious White, process. You know Vontae Davis, process. Leonard Johnson, that's my guy, process. Sharish Wright, I gotta say, I think he's part of the problem. I think he's part of the problem. I think it's going to come down to battling against free agents and and rookies in camp. And I think he loses that battle. Breon Borders. I think he has a chance to make this squad. I think he has a chance to make this squad because aggressive nature, ball hawking ability, and the fact that he's six feet. You need length. We have a lot of little guys on our team, man. 5'10", 5'11", 5'9". You know what I'm saying? And that's where Breon Borders comes in. Last but not least, Lafayette Pitts. You got to go. You're part of the problem. I see us getting more depth at corner, and I don't see you part of the situation. I don't see you part of the process. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the SWAT team. It's the cornerback room. What do y'all think? Am I tripping? Or am I bang on like I always am? Hey! So, y'all tell me who part of the process is. Y'all tell me who's part of the problem. Who do we bring in? Who are we drafting? Y'all let me know in the comment section and we'll keep it moving. Y'all know exactly what to do. Bring this in. You're gonna comment below and then you're gonna click the like button and then you're gonna click subscribe and then you're gonna share to all your little homies that are out there and then we grow this bitch to 10K. It's your boy Rico and I'm gone. I wish I